the Engineering Influence Podcast from the American Council of Engineering Companies, sponsored by HDR. We are coming to you from our fall conference taking place at the Broadmoor in Colorado Springs. I'm here with Jeff Hurst, who is no stranger to the engineering world. Jeff, thanks for being here. Oh, Allison, great to be with you here today. Thank you so much. Can you tell us a little bit about your background? Yeah, it's great. I am so grateful for the engineering community. My dad was a civil engineer, ran and operated a firm in Utah, and my brother has succeeded him in this, and he's now operating the firm. So I've been around it my whole life. And because of that, that led me into a career of providing insurance for architects and engineers. And um, so I've been working with architects and engineers for, for 23 years. You're familiar with engineering, but you have a little bit of a different perspective than maybe some other folks in the industry. Can you tell us about about that? Yeah, I'd be happy to. So, you know, working in an environment where I needed to perform as an insurance professional and needing to grow and advance my career, um, you know, I was able to observe some of the things that were happening with engineering firms. I, I would consult with them regularly and would give presentations on, on risk and practice management and would be around them all the time. And, um, and I would do these loss prevention workshops, but I had it hit a point in my career where I felt like I was, I was kind of stuck and I felt frustrated with how things were going. And I was kind of in this middle space in, in my organization and wanted to move forward. And, and it was really concerning to me. And I just wasn't very happy with how things were going. And then I got introduced to this world of personal empowerment and this world of, of mindset and of being able to take control of what you're doing and making a difference in your own life. And, and that really kind of turned everything, not upside down, but right side up, right? It made everything just change for me and it made things so much better. And so I just dove right into this and I started finding these mentors and coaches and teachers who helped me learn all this stuff. And my, my career just took off from there in my insurance world. And, um, um, the way I was able to show up in my personal life and also my professional life totally changed. Um, I was a better husband and father and neighbor and friend, started achieving personal goals, and then my professional goals took off. Well, make a long story short, um, not too long ago, I was consulting with one of my engineering firms, and I did a presentation for them, and I just put in some of this empowerment material in there. And it was really interesting because um, I got done with that presentation, and I got a call call from them a couple weeks later and they said, Jeff, we want you to do that presentation again. We're going to do it for our whole firm and we're going to record it. And I said, wait a second, because that's never happened before. And they, and I said, what, wait, tell me about what's going on. I'm totally good with that, but let's talk here. Help me understand. And they said, there's just something about what you said, something about something you incorporated in there. And they started trying to describe it and couldn't quite put their finger on it. And then it occurred to me that it was the personal empowerment. And I started asking questions. I said, well, did it have to do with this and with that and with, with these other elements to help your firm grow and help your people be better? They said, that's it. That was it. And we can't find that training anywhere. And we really need some help. And I said, well, I happen to be trained in this area and I'd be happy to help you guys with it too. And that's what kind of started me down this path of trying to help firms um, operate from a level that helps their people overcome burnout and the negativity and some of the difficulty you encounter just in this world in general. And I had one of my clients that told me that after COVID, it just, just wiped him out. And he just didn't feel like he had the drive and the motivation, the energy, and he really wanted something like this. And so I was able to work with them and it's been a big, it's made a big difference for them. I think so many people can relate to feeling burned out and feeling stuck in a place where they're waiting for something to happen to them to change their life. If once this part of my life changes, I will be happier. I will be more successful. And this personal empowerment is more about changing the way you operate to take more ownership. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. It's really looking at things from the inside out because a lot of times we live life, just like you said, looking at what's going on around us and waiting for that to change us. But any Anytime you study anybody, any anybody who's been hugely successful, and you kind of read into how they talk about things, you realize they figured out this secret. And the secret, as stated by Jim Rohn, was this: for things to change, you have to change, and for things to be better, you have to be better. And it's really empowering because you realize that I don't have to wait for something outside of me to change for things to be better. I can take some steps now 
to empower myself to change how I work. And it really gets into how you operate your mind and your life and how your brain works and how it affects your decisions and how it affects trying new and different things. Because we all live in this world where we want to be comfortable and our brain wants to do what's familiar. But when you try to do something new and different, your brain can't predict how it's going to turn out. So you have all these things come up that stop you from being able to really move forward and achieve your goals and progress. And that's what we want to help people to do. And we realize that firms have um, individuals from at every level of the firm, from the C-suite across all levels of the firm, they they experience this, um, this wanting to do better and be better, but feel like they just can't quite move forward. And our, our theory is, is that we, as we help people individually be better, it helps them be happier and more fulfilled individuals and also helps them to show up more successfully at the firm. So when you work with folks, what are some areas they're looking for help with? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. What they want me to do is to help their people feel like they can move forward. Um, a lot of times we just feel like we're stuck. We feel like we can't change or be better or maybe change is just uncomfortable. And so we really want them to help adopt um, what's called a growth mindset. And a growth mindset um, really embodies you being able to see that there's a possibility to be better and different. But there's certain steps you have to take along the way to help yourself do that. So we developed a program that firms can take to help them take little tiny baby steps along the way, along this path of trying to figure out how to operate their lives at a, at a much higher level so that when they show up in every interaction of their life, it goes better. They have a greater influence on themselves and on others and on the results that they're able to achieve. They're more intentional. They're more intentional. And really, I love that definition of empowerment. It really means one of the definitions I like is being more deliberate about oneself and your choices. And sometimes we just live life on autopilot without really being intentional about what we want to do. And, but when we do that, we feel like our life is out of control. And so it's about, it's about having the control over your life and what you can control and making a difference for yourself. How have you seen this training help change the culture at firms? You know, it's a great question. And um, what I'm starting to see in the feedback that we're getting is that they feel like they're able to overcome negativity because there's so much negativity out there right now. They're able to overcome negativity. They're able to move themselves forward. They're able to work better and just show up more powerfully as an individual. And if you can imagine going to a client meeting and if you show up as a much more, I'll use the term empowered person or person that's operating from that higher, more um, open and more abundant and believing and positive level, people sense that. People sense that and they feel your excitement and your energy and they may not be able to put their finger on it, but they know that there's something different. And so it, it just changes the total interaction and what you're able to accomplish with that person because there's just that positive human connection that takes place at a much different level than you would have before. So it, it affects how they interact with each other and within their teams. It, it affects how they treat and view each other and how they treat and view themselves, which also affects how they treat and view other people. So it really just elevates the culture of the firm. So it's much more positive, copacetic. Um, we can adopt change. We can do things. We can grow. We can be successful. We can make the change and make the difference. And that's the culture we hope that they, they, they see in their firm. It's personal development, but it's also professional development. Right. It works together. It's kind of a combination. Yeah. Well, Jeff, this has been really interesting. Thank you for sharing that with us. This is Jeff Hurst from Hurst Coaching. This has been another episode of the Engineering Influence Podcast from the American Council of Engineering Companies. Thank you. Thanks for having me here, Allison. Thanks.